said, you know, paint like this, <laughs> which is a filthy diuretic colour. So we, so that was the second job for him. And then this terrible incident occurred. There was a group of officers doing water fatigues, uh, which I was on for quite a time. You, you pulled a rope and uh, a bucket slid in and out of the water, you see, and you, you filled something else with the water. And um, one of the officers was asked by Nip to fill the Nip's bucket with water, which he refused. And there was a hell of a scene. And um, in the end, uh, there, there was this terrible lay about um, Noguchi um, smashed into Drow, beat him up, and uh, Drow was put in the no good house, which was half full of water, you know, which was virtually a wooden um, slatted box. And uh, Drow was in there for weeks, slowly dying, you know, of hardly any food at all or water continually taken out and given a beating and uh, finally Drow was um, brought out and uh, I think he was allowed to sit in front of the guard room for some time in a terrible state. Noguchi of course um, uh, by this time, it was starting to send groups of men off into the jungle, or groups of officers into the jungle to build, uh, as he said, new camps. But uh, we all had a horrible feeling what he really meant to do. And it was later confirmed that uh, uh, the um, Jack Emperor had said that uh, if Mountbatten did invade uh, with a force, first thing he'd do would shoot the officers in batches. So this was uh, obviously part of the scheme. And uh, we went off in batches of, I, I was fortunate, I I was one of, you know, somewhere along the line, um, ready to go, when fortunately, you know, the atom bombs were dropped, and uh, we were told it was all over. And you were uh, actually only... And so there were about a thousand of us left in Kanchanburi. Oh. And then... Uh the war ended on the 15th of August, and yes. on the 18th of August you did a sketch of Bill Drow. And so Bill mm. Drow mm. was uh, in hospital by then, and I did the sketch. Bill had, um, was in a terrible state. He'd been eating his hair. Um, he was in, uh, the time I met him, he, by the doctors who'd met him, he'd, he'd improved immensely because he was being fed, given quinine and so on. But uh, he was still glassy-eyed uh, in a shocking state. And Noguchi had gone down to Bangkok and uh, he was um, brought back by a Japanese um, justice minister or something mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, uh, and then sent back to Bangkok, of course, and finally hanged. Fred, I'm going to have to... Uh, we, we, unfortunately, we've, we've run out of time. But uh, may I say how grateful I am to you for the opportunity of interviewing you. Oh. And uh, I might have to come back next year and finish it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much I've left out. I know, time. I understand. Mm. Yeah. But thank you so much. I was trying to chop across to 
odd incidents uh, to make something of it. I've lost, I've missed out so much. Well, I think it's wonderful. Oh. Thank you.